let's watch the game Newton Ryu versus Dudley tournament. You guys like Ryu and Dudley, right? Everyone here likes Ryu and Dudley. Pretty sure. So this is a tournament where every single person has to pick either Ryu or Dudley. And then all of the Ryus have to fight all of the Dudleys. Dude, were there really two of these tournaments? Yeah, there was a Gamers Vision one and a Game Newton one. Holy fuck. This is the run back. I didn't know this happened. I was thinking already this is different from what I remembered. This is, um... This one happened apparently quite recently. Like this year. Dude, look, this is sick. Hold on, this is amazing. I didn't realize this... Ugh, I haven't seen this. This is new to me, too. I, like... The Ryu vs. Dudley tournament 10 years ago was kind of free. Like, eight Dudleys beat, like, fucking a shit ton of Ryus. Like a metric shit ton. This is Super 1 Ryu, and also the Dudley just tried to parry out, but he didn't need to. Also, I don't see any player names here. Also, it's got that thing where, um... Um... Oh, I see Kokujin's name at the bottom. F. Shinta. Yakun. They're like scrolling names at the bottom on each side, I guess. Uh, Ryu and Dudley are two very fundamental characters who are both reasonably high tier, who theoretically have a 5-5 against each other. Alright, I'll keep the list of... It's got it in the description for the list of the players. Apparently, this Ryu is Harano, and that Dudley was Mato. I don't know if they're in order. Ryu play, uh... I don't know, Taihe, Kuni, Shaboten, oh, it's going too fast, I see Sho, I see Dance, I see Banao, Heboryu, he's really good, it's going too quick. Why does America not have a tournament like this? Wouldn't it be amazing? If you had people like fucking Snake Eyes and Justin Wong coming to a tournament where you could only play as like fucking... I don't know. In America there's a lot more emphasis on like 1v1. They never have like region versus region like Japan does. Yeah, it could still just be Dudley versus Ryu. No, I didn't even mean I meant Street Fighter 4. Yeah, I know it's too spread out. Wouldn't that just be so sick though? I feel like that's what online tournaments are for, which is why I hold BAF theme cups. It's because I love shit like this. Set up as a BAF cup. I would go reside. I think most people go reside in Street Fighter 4. 
In Street Fighter 3, you would see a decent number of people on both sides. Probably more Ryu's than Dudley's, but you'd see a good number of both. In Street Fighter 4, you would see almost entirely Ryu's. Hi, hair. I just read that in one of the comments. I don't know if it's Taiha playing. I've already forgotten who's who. This is the second Ryu versus the second Dudley. One thing I liked about the first Ryu vs. Dudley tournament is you saw a decent number of people playing every super. Because Ryu and Dudley both have like three viable supers. Damn, he supered anyway. I don't know if that was a bad reaction. Uh, no, no crouching opponent. Your opponent needs to be crouching to confirm a super. The Shinsho OTG doesn't even work if the opponent quick stands. And there's nothing you can do after a forward throw to stop the opponent from quick standing. So we're on the second Ryu, which is Taihe, and the third Dudley, who is Yamatachi. Ryu really does not need a hard knockdown. Ryu is better off without a hard knockdown. If Ryu had a hard knockdown, he could um, very easily do... I think some some moves uh, cause hard knockdown when if you could quick stand them, it would be you get an easy punish. But I can't immediately think any of those moves in this game. Um, but if Ryu had a, like a good hard knockdown, he could easily get dungeon setups and fuck that. There are grabs that are hard knockdowns, so I literally can't think of one. Even SPD you can quick stand. Excuse me, Moonsault Press. The only true 360. The next Ryu is good. There's more like known Ryu's than known Dudley's in this tournament from what I can tell scrolling down. But the known Dudley's are kind of better than the known Ryu's. Like Kokujin is probably the best player here. You can't quick stand, Q's uh, capturing deadly blow. What's Alex's air stampede? Is that his air his his knee? I thought you could quick stand that. I was like pretty sure you could.
think you're right about Aura and Ibuki say grabs though. Oh, Stomp. Oh yeah. That's a move where if you could quick stand it, it would completely change its function. Alex and his stupid ass special move names. Super 1 Ryu is actually like the most common Ryu rank. It's probably not the, b I mean not rank, super. It's probably not the best. Dungeon is almost certainly better. But, um, um, Super 1 is a lot easier to use and almost as good and, um, a lot more fundamental and gives Ryu more bar to play around with, which is actually quite valuable. There are like more Super 1 Ryu players than there are Super 3 Ryu players. Maybe not anymore, but it certainly used to be. I would call like I would call Super 1 to be like the Super I would expect the Ryu to use. But I don't think it's his best Super. I think Dungeon is his best Super. Yeah, Ryu has really nice EX. Literally all four of Ryu's EX moves are nice. Are worth having. EX Tatsu is really good as an anti-parry and a uh, safe pressure and good damage in corners. Uh, EX... Um, EX Donkey Kick takes Ryu's damage from around the middle of the pack to some of the highest punish damage in the game, which makes his parry super dangerous. Uh, EX Fireball basically works exactly like Fireballs in ST. Really quick recovery, really quick start up, knockdown, good space control, decent like damage and dizzy. Um, nice. That's what you do. And EXDP actually has enough. What the fuck's going on? EXDP actually has enough invincibility to make it a true wake up in a game with almost no true wake up. Reuse EXDP is invincible until after it hits, which means you can actually genuinely reverse with it. It's still shitty because you can't make it safe, but you know. The fact that you have an EX reversal at all makes opponents really unwilling to like put pressure on you sometimes, which is good for Ryu. That taunt. But it was too big to come back. So that was uh, Kuni going down, who was a good Ryu. And now we're on Shabo 10. It's going to be hard keeping up with all these Ryus. Wish it was just in the fucking names. This Dudley is... Um, damn it, I don't want to miss any footage. Let's just enjoy the play and not worry about the players. It's going to be ridiculously hard to keep track of this. Unless I start counting up from the bottom with what number they are. If they're even in any sort of order at all, which they might not be. No, it was Cooney. Not Nuki. Nice. Who dud this is? <laughs> low short, low short, super. Bread and butter. On a lot of characters, you can do short, jab, short, super. I think Dudley's one of them, actually. That's punishable. Nice. We'll know once someone like fucking Vanau or Heboryu steps up. It'll be just obvious. Cancel into short swing blow on hit is kind of weird. He missed all the important hits there. It's still good for the hard knockdown. 
There's a lot of short swing blow from this Dudley. We'll run into a Denshin Ryu before too long, I guarantee it. What the fuck was that? MC jump stand short. That was so weird and bad. Didn't matter. Well, it kind of mattered because he would have won faster. It could have mattered. So he hits when he gets all the hits. Nice. You need to parry a bunch in order to get up from that safely. Dude, this Dudley is rocking short swing blow. He's doing it so fucking much. Normally in Japanese replays, they like cut out the between match stuff. Is that a reset or did the camera cut? There it goes. What's going on? Shitty ass fucking internet connection to the stream. At least it's lagging for the Japanese people too. I'm not even anything to meet in person. I'm kind of tall. And I guess I look geeky. Please make it stop. It's not YouTube or anything, it's the literal recording. I guess he didn't want this character. This super, perhaps. No, we're going in with it. Okay, I don't know what happened. Damn, the fake outs. EXDP. Ooh. Jump instant parry. It's a really strange anti wake up option. So much fucking EXDPs. I think there was a machine reset in there somewhere. Ah! Dudley was too close to the ground to do jump roundhouse. It comes out kind of slow, even compared to jump fierce. Let's jump around and make sure we get only action. There we go. Look at that, so much faster. Hey, Oddish. Damn, is it just me or are there a lot of people in here? What's the event? It's just the fact that I first time streaming in a while. Literally, I think every Dudley we've seen has been Super 3 and every Rui has been Super 1. That was a uh, trip guard. If you parry the opponent very close to the ground, they're considered to have attacked midair. And thus they can't block low as soon as they hit the ground. If they do kind of a high air parry, they can actually fully recover from their air attack and regain their trip guard. It's very strange how trip guard works in third strike. But you can't block low attacks. If you hit a button midair, you can't block low attacks right after landing. But if you're parried, then you can actually regain trip guard. If you're parried very early, then you like like re-enter like a normal jump, and you can hit additional buttons. Like if you if you get parried very high in your jump after hitting a button, you can like hit another button as you're falling down. It's really strange. Or I can't do another jump. It'd be really cool if he could. 
Maybe like did a double jump, then got parried, and then did like a third jump. Whatever this Ryu is, he's work. He's bringing it back. Oh, oh, he dropped it. He salvaged it pretty well. That's how you salvage it. If you get the early connect on light machine gun blow, then you can't get like the looping combo. But you can do a uh, stand strong to pick up a combo there on reaction if you get the wrong thing. That gets a reset and then an Oki Sonic. Or not Oki, but you know. I have no idea if this is show, and I don't care to find out. Nice. It's very strange how that EX fireball hit. Uh, he could have supered as soon as he landed and he would have won. Even a very high connect jump around house, you can land in super. And super comes out so quick, it comes out in two frames. This is actually a different Ryu versus Dudley tournament than the one I keep talking about. Believe it or not, turns out there's two of them. One of them happened, this one apparently happened like a few months ago. Meaty stand, medium kick into EX Fireball, super safe, reasonably safe on parry. And very unpredictable to parry. That's a pretty good option. Mm, block and then parry. He red parried the first hit of the fireball, and then you see he just blocked the other hit. He's afraid. Jump back, run house. Might have actually been jump back, medium kick. My cat is immediately outside my door begging. I normally feed him around 5 o'clock every night, but he's got unlimited dry food, so he's just being a bitch. They said who it was, but I didn't hear. They said something Dudley. Very, very common in Japan. They say the player name and then the character name. Close meme kick EX fireballs. It's it's low parry bait. It's trying to catch the people trying to parry low short. It's also really good to do EX Tatsu because that's a reasonably difficult parry. It's not difficult to do. It's just difficult to expect. And that's safe and that does pretty good damage. And you can follow it up with like a super if you have one. There are so many little things like that in Third Strike. Little specific cancels and specific scenarios that have purposes like that. I like shit like that a lot. There it was again. Close forward EX Fireball. To some degree it might be to beta throw too, but he's doing it early enough that it, people, if they're doing like defensive throws, are probably just still going to be blocking. Um, counter hits don't exist in this game, Oddish. So, no. Unless you're asking about Street Fighter V, in which case also no. 
Kind of hits only happen when you hit someone during startup. Even for target combos. The second hit of a target combo, you don't get a counter hit. For like hitting before it comes out. Oh yeah, in that case, that's probably exactly what you're looking for, Jebka. Because that, what you just said, is super unsafe and also a scenario that's not going to happen very often. People going for low parry. Whereas that loses to like down back. So close medium kick EX Tatsu or close medium kick fire EX Fireball both be much more ideal there. EX Tatsu by itself is also halfway decent for baiting low parries or even high parries. And certainly good for baiting throws. People used to never do shit like that until Street Fighter 4 came out. I think people got better at Street Fighter 3 from playing Street Fighter 4, if that makes any sense. Just because things that you would never even think to, ooh, nice, do in this game ended up being okay. Tatsu? Yup. Does extra damage. What do you mean? Short Swing Blow is just really strong in this game. What do you mean extra damage? Compared to what? Compared to Street Fighter 4? If you have a read that's more valuable than safety. I'll do unsafe things if I'm like pretty damn sure of my opponent's tendencies. This is how third strike works. It encourages hard reads. <laughs> Wake up, meaty parry. Ah, uh, that's tricky. He probably parried the first attack and then tried to hit a button immediately. But he had to go for six parries. Or else he was toast. Skipping around a little bit. Oh, I went a little too far. I lost three seconds of the f start of the match, and in that three seconds, re cornered the opponent. He's got Dengen. There it is. Tried to jump out because he was so far away. If you block a fireball mid-screen, the fireball pushes you back a lot, which makes Dengen take kind of a long time to hit. It makes the parry kind of easy. So it also gives you more time to jump out, and the Dudley tries to jump out because of that. And for exactly that reason... um. The Ryu threw a super short, super bad, like, Denjin. Nice. Good trade for Ryu, though. It's kind of a good trade for both of them. I'd be happy if with, I'd be happy as either person in that trade. At least nearly dizzy. I actually do have a Facebook. If you try really hard, you could probably find it. Since I posted my name here and there before. But I'm not going to just link it to you or anything. I never go on Facebook, though. I think Facebook is awful. Oh, Ibuki takes extra damage when she's... Um, um, doing her little ducking thing. Oh, are you, oh, I see what you're saying. Are you talking about cross-counter? What are you talking about? I don't understand. The Ibuki was punished. By the, the Dudley using Short Swing Blow, right? Ibuki takes. Short Swing Blow does a lot of damage, and, short, and Ibuki doing certain special moves takes a fuck ton of damage. If she's hit out of her little command dash, she takes like double damage, and she already has low health. Yeah, good super. I'd still be happy as either of them. Whoa! 
He didn't burn bar. Are you kidding me? When would you literally ever use Stairman House and not use uh, EX Machine Gun Blow as Dudley? Unless you didn't have the bar. And even then you just do Hard Machine Gun Blow, which is the same input. Oh, it's like almost over. What the fuck? <laughs> he did a bodega combo. That was bad. Oh, he still won. That was really garbage. Are you telling me that fucking he was too afraid to do Crouch Fierce into Tatsu so he did Sweep? Sweep is harder than Crouch Fierce Tatsu. Crouch Fierce comes out faster than Sweep does. And the main difficulty of the combo is hitting the crouch face fast enough that like it combos from the jumping normal. That was stupid. So, still super 3 all around. That's really unsafe. Maybe not on Dudley. Normally if you block uh, Reuse full hard Tatsu, it's punishable, but that was really far out. Dudley probably needed to super it or something. Later taint. Burning bar right now. I generally burn bar to pursue a round in third strike. It's usually worth it. You can make big comebacks more readily in this game. Yeah, he just did it. Oro, Oro can do a lot of damage with his bar. Like, if I can get a good connect with the opponent having, like, 50% or less, I can usually win. Food? Possibly. In fact, probably. I was going to do my homework tomorrow. I mean, today, but I might as well do it tomorrow because I haven't made any meaningful progress on it. And we can, like, do Undertale or something. Oof. It took me about uh, five hours to beat Undertale on the neutral end. I've heard there's like a extra hour or two of gameplay if you do True Pacifist. No spoilerina for Pavina. The forward punish is that at all ranges, I'm pretty sure. Are you going to be free this weekend? I'm going to drive up to LA to get Kenichi. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my last week of class. Theoretically, do you think that with punishing with sweep granting you a hard knockdown would be worth the addition to SF5? Maybe. Damn, not free this weekend? Not free for Kanichi? It's alright, he could be coming down like a lot. He's He's in LA for the next six months. So, like, I could get him any weekend I wanted to, probably. Like, what else is he going to be doing? Classwork. I wonder if he has other American friends. Almost certainly. Why am I not skipping this? I want someone to go on the drive with me to get Kenichi because, like, I want a, some English to fill the car. And also, like, it's an hour and a half drive and I don't want to make that. Hour and a half each way. I fucking loved Undertale. I loved it. I was in love with every character. Literally every character was amazing. Oh, too far. He got a really poorly charged engine, though. He had to release immediately. And actually, the super... The super destroyed some hits of Dengen. Oh, that already sounds pretty bad. Well, you'll probably get to see him. 
Oh, he missed. He did the cancel really late, or I don't think he got the cancel at all. Ugh. What was that supposed to be? I, th I guess he expected to be parried. That kind of scenario is so strange. If you're Ryu and the opponent parries like your anti-air crouch fierce and then hits a button, then you can actually beat that by doing anti-air crouch fierce and then cancel it to uppercut because the uppercut will cancel from the crouch fierce and come out faster than their button will. My favorite character was Alfie's. Did I just say that? I just thought it, but I don't remember if I said it. Sans and Papyrus were literally both bro tier, both for radically different reasons. I was going to go get him at like 10 a.m. on Saturday, which means I'd probably be getting back at like 1. The genocide ending, from what little I've heard, is the hardest. I've also heard that most of the stuff that is supposed to be difficult in the other games is ridiculously easy in genocide, but then there's additional stuff that's ultra hard. Hey, Nightlight. I don't think I've ever seen you here. Wow. Oh shit, that'll work perfectly then. Eh, yeah, but I won't be able to grab Kenichi until like noon. But that's alright. I could just tell him the plans. I offered to pick him up between 10 and 11. So noon wouldn't even be that far off. But that would be like a, an entire day with him. I'd certainly rather that than fucking driving that LA by myself. Um, no, I probably wouldn't do a tutorial for third strike characters. I might do like bread and butter combos, because I could do that. But tutorial is a lot harder, because I don't really play a lot of the third strike characters at all. And I don't have a lot of the practical knowledge of what's super useful for them. I mean, I know I fight them a lot, but, like, I wouldn't really feel qualified making a tutorial for most of the cast of this game. Only Aura. Damn, get to Garas tournament this Saturday. Everyone, everyone sign up. I'm okay with that kind of plug. Dude, I just want to see a single Super 1 or Super 2 Dudley. Even though I think Super 3 is like by and far the best Super in this matchup. Wow, that worked. Yatagaras dies when the last person who knows of it speaks its name. Lunatic. This re has been doing a lot of work. Actually, no, he hasn't. It was the last re that was doing a lot of work. This re has only done a little bit of work. I play on Fight Cade. I imagine several of the monsters here do. I imagine I would attract some fight cave monsters here and there. 
I should make a how to play fight Kade tutorial for my channel. That would be good for everyone. Nice. That was the right frame. He learned to recognize them all. Favorite song? Fuck, I don't know. There were a lot of there were there was a lot of really good music, but it was mostly atmospheric. I, there was no song that really jumped out at me as being really killer. I mean, there were like uh, I I frequently noticed the music. I was like, wow, this music is really good, but like I didn't remember it by scene. Most of the music in boss fights, I remember like I don't want to say like the bosses, but I remember two bosses specifically had really killer music. Not cutting Toriel, who everyone already knows has really killer music. Also, there's a f boss fight later on that has a remix of the Toriel battle song, and it's uh, really good. Nice! Counter poking stands strong with Snipe Roundhouse? That's nuts. That's like such a. That's like a pretty hard move to counter poke, and a, really, a move that's not very efficient for counter poking. Every pair of normals interacts differently, though. Nice. That was some fast shaking, but not fast enough. In this game, the um, um, the stars and stuff go around faster if you're shaking. Wake Up Super 1 with Dudley is about as good as Wake Up Super 3. They're both invincible, and they both start in the same speed. Two frames. But Super 1 is so much more unsafe than Super 3. Most characters can punish Super 3, but they usually can't get, like, a good punish. Super 1, you can get your full shit. You can get, like, the whole world. As Oro, I can punish Dudley Super 3 with, like, an uppercut, and I can punish this Super 1 with the infinite. Nice. Super 1 does marginally more damage than Super 3 in some combos, and s moderately more damage than Super 3 in other combos. And it works in pretty much identical setups, but you have it costs a little bit more bar. This is a Ryu vs. Dudley tournament in Japan. Everyone is playing either Ryu or Dudley. We haven't seen any Super 2 Ryus or Super 2 Dudleys. They're both arguably the worst super for both characters, but they're both okay. Um, yeah. Kokujin's here somewhere. Um, Vanao's here. Haboryu's here. Um, Match and Nuki are here. Nami Jin is here. Haruka's here. Um, F is here. Uh, Yakun is here. Kairu. There's like a lot of good players here. Damn. We've punished the donkey kick. That was cool. <laughs> A raw machine gun blow is super unsafe in this game. You never ever see that. No, this is just... Actually, I think Aruka did switch to Rio. I don't know if he actually switched to Ryu or just like the way that a lot of the like little tournaments work is that you can play in whatever tier you're in based on like your dawn. Wow. That's um unsafe to parry and safe. It's unsafe for Ryu if you block it and unsafe for Dudley if you parry it. Sounds nutty, but that's how it is. He should not have parried that. Um What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, but um like, let's say you have, like, a really good Yurian, and you get your Yurian to, like, s like, strongest, strongest person tier. You can still play your other characters in, like, the lower tiers. You can still play, like, first dawn tournaments with, like, a fucking, an Alex that isn't as good as your Yurian. So what I figured was happening, I don't know if it's true, 
is that Aruka has an Ibuki in the really high tournaments and he can't enter it in the lower ones because it's too good. But then he has like a uh, Ryu that he can still play in the lower tournaments. But I don't know if that's true. He might have just switched mains. But I figured he just has both of them. And they're just, you know, we only saw the Ryu because it was in a tournament where he tested out with his uh, Debuki. Ugh. He could have gone the uppercut there, right? I think that works on Shotos. I think that works on everyone. <laughs> I th that was probably on reaction. That's a nutty read, though. It's got a good su success ratio, so it's not that bad. It's just nutty. Ibuki is one of the more uncommon characters in the game. Actually, I would call her, like, bottom... In tournament settings, she's not bottom five. But in terms of just raw amount, she's probably bottom five. She's not very played at all. In a tournament setting, she's probably around the middle. Damn, this is a long video. I kind of want to get food with my friend. That's Max and Pukia. I mean, you could really run this kind of tournament with any number of players, but, um,. Team versus team in Japan, it's almost always like like at least 15 on both sides. If it's like a single, single elim. Jump hack jab, what the fuck? Literally, why? Ryushinku really isn't that strong. Ha! <laughs> Meaty fireball. There was literally no mix up there. Mouse menacingly over Shinshoya. I saw the snake. Oh, for that kind of... I mean, they usually run it with only like four people. Or like six or eight. Like a very small number. You need a lot of people overall in like the brackets and stuff in order for that kind of system to work. But in terms of like an individual tournament day, you only need like a few people. A very small number. I've thought about, I really, right when I was starting off on on YouTube and Twitch, I thought about that being the format for Bath Cups. I'm dead serious, that was the initial one I thought, and then I just copied US tournaments instead. But I thought about having a ran bat, a weekly ran bat. It's got a fat, it's got a huge niche. Ryu's taunt speeds his dizzy recovery, which is one of the more useless taunts in the game. Although not always useless. It lasts for the rest of the round. So if you're fighting like a Denjin Ryu, if you get like a hard knockdown with a... I mean, if you get like a Tatsu, you can go for a taunt and then like if you ever get nearly dizzied by a Denjin, you have a better chance of not actually getting dizzied. I'm pretty sure you can stack up to two of them, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure one taunt makes it recover faster and two taunts makes it discover recover much faster. 
but after two it doesn't do anything else. Yeah, that's kind of the appeal of it, is that you'd have entire tournaments where everyone was kind of bad, and it's just king of the hill. So it'd be really easy to... If Street Fighter 4 had a good spectate feature, I would probably do that. I wish that they would just add that after the fact. I wish that Capcom would just be like... The best Elena? I don't know. Sako? Call to? Or are you talking about Third Strike? Fuck, I don't know the best Elena in Third Strike. That's impossible. There are no Elenas. I can think of like two Elenas. There's that Turbine guy. Turbine. And then, uh... What's his name? Saru? Something like that. The guy whose name means Bell. And that's it. Those are like the only two Elenas I can think of. I think MOV has an Elena, but like he never ever plays it, but I think he has one. KO. I'd like to see that. Elena's like bottom bottom three played characters. No one plays Elena. People play characters worse than Elena more often than they play Elena. Elena's not super tournament unviable. She's actually alright. She doesn't really get beaten by the top tiers as much as a lot of other characters do. Dang, nice punish. Hi. Of the crowd. Uh, punish, jump back, roundhouse. That was neat. Stand jab is a super safe anti-air. I shouldn't say it's that safe. It tends to lose to just jump in attacks, but if they're going for jump in parry, you could just react with another stand jab, and then you could just keep on hitting stand jab. Forever. I thought it was Tokido wrecking Vanilla with Sean. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is Tokido. That's like a famous Third Strike video is Manao versus uh, Tokido. And it's a tournament where you can pick three characters, but no no high tiers, no high top tiers allowed. So Tokido isn't allowed to use Chun-Li. So he picks his three characters, which we don't even fucking all see. But one of his three characters was Sean. And he made it to like finals. It wasn't a huge tournament or anything. It was like literally four people. But he made it to finals with uh, Sean. And he beat like Manao's other two characters with Sean. And then Vanao's Ryu beat the Sean, and then Tokido's second character is Ryu, and Tokido's Ryu beat Vanao's Ryu, which is pretty embarrassing. Tokido couldn't even pick his main in that tournament he won, and he beat he won he beat the guy who came in second with that guy's main. That was just a set. Never mind. Chunli player is always trolling it up with Sean, apparently. That least cool because if you're if he's crouching, Tatsu still hits him. So as Ryu, you don't have to worry about like parrying a low and then using crouch fierce or anything like that. You can just use like low forward Tatsu. Cancel the taunt. Sean is pretty bad, but skill is still more important than tears in a game like this. A gross difference in skill can surmount even the crazy tier differential. Just because the skill ceiling is so high. Wow, reversal Tatsu? It worked too. Don't taunt and lose, Ryu. Don't taunt and lose. Oh. It's so over. Yeah. If he blocked that um, Rose, he had to red parry out. If he reversaled that Rose, Dudley would block it and then punish him, and if he parried that Rose, he'd have a really difficult mix-up to deal with between throw and crutch short and, like, stand strong or something like that. 
where it was just like two of those three options would kill him no matter what he did. If he parried once and then tech the throw, the low short and the stand strong would kill him. If he parried uh, high two times, um, he'd parry the rose and then get thrown, or parry the rose and eat the low short. If he parried high then low, he'd parry the rose and the low short, but lose to the stand strong and the throw. Basically, had a two-thirds chance of losing. If he tried to parry out, and then a 100% chance of losing if he did anything else. Technically, they're set up center escapable even with parry. Although they're kind of difficult to make. And some characters can't use them at all. Yeah, Taunt's giving little buffs pretty much everyone likes. That's one of the frequent things that people cite about this game that they really miss. Although it didn't really matter that much, so I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of... I find it strange that that's the thing everyone remembers about this game. Because in practical terms, like, it only really mattered for, like, Q. It was only a major gameplay element for one character. For most characters, you could literally, like, never taunt ever and you'd be playing optimally. Aura's taunt is very close to useless. Ryu's taunt is very close to useless. Alex's taunt is very close to useless. I can make a pretty long list. Everyone likes Q, but I've never been able to discern why. Most taunts didn't even have a hitbox. Actually, probably about an even number had or didn't have a hitbox. Necros does. Um, Sean and Dudley do. Ken's does. Yun's does. Not that many. Makoto's does, I guess. You'll never ever kill anyone with it. It did give characters personality. Like a very, very, very minor version of like drives from Guilty Gear. Yeah, everyone likes Q because Robot Noir Detective. Noir, noir, noir. Robot Noir, best war. Noir. Link Makoto Super 1 from Taunt? I'm pretty sure you can't. That doesn't sound right. I'll give it a go later. That sounds like something out of Tekken. That sounds like Brian Fury's Taunt Links. It'd be, it'd be a hilarious twist if fucking Q is Chun's father. That was actually a really cool response. Dudley, if he just did super there, he would have traded with the super. But, um... Uh, because he did stand strong, that beat it clean. I have a replay of me fighting, uh, Denges. And, um, I used Oro's Taunt. It's literally the only time I've ever used Oro's Taunt for a practical purpose, and it actually worked. He nearly dizzied me with a Dengen, and then I got a chicken combo, and I cancelled the final strong into Taunt, and just held the Taunt for a little bit until he woke up. And, um, it was a safe time to get the Taunt off, and it healed about 40% of my stun. The Ryus are winning. It's 10 Ryus versus 7 Dudleys. This is a lot more fair than it was last time. That was a really good punish. Recognizing that what he parried had enough time that he could walk in and get a bigger punish than just like a poke. Also, this is a Super 2 Dudley. Rejoice. Here it is. He's got the Super 2. You can link Super 2 off a lot of stuff, but you can't link it off the overhead. There it is! He actually linked that, but you can cancel it. But he linked it. Rolling Thunder is one frame slower than the other two supers, but goes really far.
Yeah, both Oros and Ryu's taunts are halfway decent when they're when those two are fighting each other. Yes, this is a Ryu versus Dudley only tournament. In fact, right over here you'll say it says Ryu versus Dudley. Interesting. Um, I mean, it depends mostly on the skill of the players. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how fair that matchup is. That's a punish. It's pretty good too. I got him a lot of dizzy back. <laughs> Studley's making Super 2 work. I hope he wins so he keeps up. Oh, it wasn't a punish. Oh no. He's going to get it. Oh, he didn't cancel. That was literally the win. If he cancelled that uppercut into um, Dungeon, it was over. I think Dudley's a better character than Ryu, but the matchup is probably even or very close to it. 5.5, 4.5, or 5.5 5 are the only things I would ever say. Yeah, Rolling Thunder is definitely inspired by the Dempsey roll. Don't change. Don't change. Oh, he went super three. What a bust. I heard Hebo Ryu. Is this Hebo Ryu? If it is, he's a good Ryu player. Yo, it's over. Even with low strong. There was a, not so long ago, there was a Yurian who was playing in tournaments who had Super 1. Pretty much everyone who saw And he was actually using it, like, really well. Super 1 is actually, like, it's worse than Super 3. Super 3 is probably the best Super in the game for Yurian. I mean, like, you know, in the game at all. Um... But Super 1 does a lot of stuff that Super 3 can't do. So even though Super 3 is better for Yurian, like Super 1 is um, still good. I think Rolling Thunder still has projectile invincibility, but no one really throws like mid-screen fireballs, so it's not really a huge deal. But I'm pretty sure it's still projectile invincible. You might be able to use it to reverse against a dungeon. Super 1 is like is like a bunch of chariot tackles. The closest thing I can describe it is like uh, like Balrog Super. It has actual invincibility, and it goes really far really fast, so it gives Yurian punishes he doesn't normally have. If it did, if it did go through fireballs, it would be really good against Dungeon. Unfortunately, Ryu charges his super meter more often than uh, Dudley does with Super 2. Ooh, he's chasing down a Dizzy. He got it. And basically, this Dudley was using this Super 1 that, like, literally everything that Super 3 couldn't do, and Super 1 could, this Dudley was using it for those reasons. And he was, like, a master of those reasons. And he was actually making Super 1 look competitive with Super 3. He was, like, a. I mean, uh, the Syrian. He was like a really good Yurian too. <laughs> oh my god! One parry and then uppercut? That's a pretty hard read. Got an accent, they'll cancel the wrong way. This Dudley's good. Dudley can kill you really quick. The fastest matches I've ever seen in this game have been Dudley. Dudley's mix-up resolves very quickly. And it leads to itself. And Dudley has pretty decent damage. Probably on the upper end. Oh, it's over. It's so over. That's like the best possible scenario where you can land a dungeon. That was 11 seconds. Damn, what a turnaround. PCP. How often does that happen? P, comma, P, share. I like to eat my bacon all grease, sir. 
You guys remember Homestar? I do. Ugh. He got the parry, but no punish. You have to be mindful of what your how punishable what you parried is. Usually a a parry in and of itself guarantees a punish, but not always. This dizzies, I bet. Yeah, it's over. And we didn't even need to build any meter. That was a done deal match. Ugh, that was cool. Nice. Alright, I'm coming. The tournament's almost over. Nine reads against four Dudleys. Nice. That's a punish. What does it mean, lunatic? Yes, yes it is power. Ugh! Anti air cross counter, that's kind of risky. It's almost, oh, you see me? It's almost exactly like um, anti air parry from Goken in Street Fighter 4. If they empty jump, it's your ass on a silver platter. Whoa, nice! EXTP? He, par he did jump parry expecting it, but Ryu did it really late. <laughs> Took a lot of bravery from both sides, but it was a situation that was fundamentally in Ryu's advantage. Oh yeah, Samina side. Man, Japanese expressions are so cute. Japanese people themselves are so cute. My Japanese pen pal is not very, like, he's not he's not cute. He's like, he's more of the conventionally attractive type than the cute type. He's like like the least Japanese Japanese person I've ever seen. He's like six feet tall and muscular. What is this Makoto doing here? If I had a female Japanese pen pal, that would be, let's just say, more ideal. Let's just say if I had a bunch of Japanese girls living in my house, that would be more ideal. Let's just say if I had unlimited access to Japanese women. Ugh, nice parry. Oh, he's more like a samurai. Nice. If he jumped, Dudley really could have shaken out. Shook out. Shaken. But because he just dashed in, it was faster. Very ideal punish. I like seeing shit like that. Oh, no punish. Dudley's really bad at punishing if he's not point blank. His normals are kind of weird for that kind of thing. Yeah, really bad trade for Dud. Uh, 
But Ryu has so little hell. Yep, there it goes. That was cool. Damn, 9 got confirmed, finally. But when Jubei? Eternal unplayable character. Nice punish. Low short stand forward. It's the target combo. You can actually crouch for the whole thing. It's stand forward regardless. That's the whole target combo too. There's no additional button. I don't know what its purpose is. It's like the weirdest target combo. It might be low parry only, high parry only. I can't figure it out. You see Dudley's do it almost never. It's probably like one or one of the least used. Yeah, Dudley has a lot. Most of them have a little utility in this game. Some are good for anti-air. Some are good for, like, max damage with no meter. Dudley almost never has no meter, though, so... That's usually not a big problem. Damn, that was a lot of damage very quickly. Dudley has a very difficult time dissing opponents unless he lands um, Jet Upper. Jet Upper does quite a lot of dizzy, and EX Jet Upper does even more. But all of his other moves don't do that much dizzy at all. So even if he lands a, sl a, a sling of powerful attacks like that, he usually doesn't get a dizzy. He came closer than I've ever seen him without using like a, like a Jet Upper. He actually has one combo in the corner where he combos an EX Jet Upper to a normal one, and it does about like 60% of the opponent's dizzy between just those two. It's kind of cool. Kind of meter intensive though. Not usually that useful. That's not enough. It is though. <gasps> EXDP managed to avoid the hit of the rose. Oh my god, this could really go either way. Oh my god. Oh, ducking went under the stand strong. If that was low strong, it would have been over. I'm pretty sure 9 is dead, so... The fact she's not 12 or, or Lychee. I don't know when you say 12 if you're talking about, like... Mew 12, or if you're talking about Platinum, who's like 12 years old. Wow, ran a train. It's probably on my watch later. Yeah, dizzy, combos that do optimal dizzy and combos that do optimal damage are different. That is actually a really cool thing about this game. I, that's a decision I make when I'm playing it. That's a character. That's a decision most characters make. Sometimes you want to go for a dizzy ender, sometimes you want to go for a damage ender. Ugh, Ryu. Careful with that jump roundhouse. You might hurt yourself. I'm seeing a lot of stand around houses of poke. Nice.
Seven Ryu's, two Dudleys. It's getting real stacked against the Dudley side. I hope they've been saving best for last. Empty jump throw, the strongest tech in all of third strike. Beat up that anti-air parry. I guess I could scroll down if they are indeed going in order. I could figure out quite easily who these Dudleys are. Oh, I never liked that option. That Dudley is apparently Moto. And the final one is Roni. But I don't know if this is an order. The fact that there's question marks in two random spots seem to indicate that it's an order. Oh, caught a backdash. Why was your backdashing there? You know what's the worst is when I just start moving like forward or backward and then like someone jumps and I try to do my anti air and like it overlaps with another command. That happens to me a lot. I hate it. Like sometimes I'm walking back and forth in Street Fighter 4 and someone jumps and I hit stand strong and it gives me the strong version of Mount Smash and I'm like, no. Why would I ever want this? And it's just because I had a down, like any down direction at any point between like back and forward. Just because w the motions of foot seeing I happened to hit corresponded with the special move input. And then all of a sudden I can either not anti-air at all or anti-air with a button that fucking makes me eat a giant jump in attack. It's like thanks. Thanks game. I should be blaming myself. I'm gonna. I'm done in like a minute here. This review is good. Pretty much all this play has been pretty good, considering it's not everyone's. Like, just most of the players don't even main these characters. This is like a respectable play. Ugh! He went for the last hit red parry. That's very, very optimized. There's a cancel the ex tattoo. Or was it even a cancel? I missed it. I only saw the five hits of BX Tattoo. Nice. Saisho. Koku. Is Kokujin the final Dudley? Kokujin Desna. Kokujin's gonna fucking win this whole thing for us. I believe in Kokujin san. It is wearing the, the Kokujin colors. Chat's going crazy saying Kokujin. I have reason to believe this is in fact the Koku. He's got a lot of work to do though. He's got to beat six Ryu's in a row. But he is the best. Jesus, this corner pressure. This is unreal. Holy fuck. Oh no, that was supposed to be an empty cancel, but Ryu moved into the way while still being able to block. That hurts. He burned bar and took damage. He's up a round, so this round isn't super important, but at the same time, he's kind of getting fucked. Nice media attack.
Oh my fuck. Kidney blow straight into super. Oh my lord. Hold on, he's turning it on. Oh my lord. <laughs> that was a nine second round. He was playing with us round two. Nami Jin. Nami Jin is a good replayer. I don't want to mouse over the screen because I don't want to know how much time is left because I don't want it spoiled how well Koku Jin does. Man, nah, Nami Jin. What? Is that an uppercut trading with a Snowman House or something? Oh my god. He could have supered out of that. How is Kokujin so good? It doesn't make any sense. What's he even doing differently than everyone else? <laughs> His confirms are so on point. There's a failed red parry, I think. Nice. Towards uh, medium punch. That was good. He controls the ground so well in a game where it's very difficult to control the ground. Nice. Everything's a confirm to Kokujin. Holy fuck. What are these failed punishes on sweeps? Can't he do ducking super? Or even just hard super? He, Ryu didn't have that much health. He didn't need to do that much damage. Um, I don't want to go on excellent adventures, really. I've never even talked to Gutex about it. He's never suggested it to me. I've never suggested it to him. I feel like I don't really deserve to be on there, and I feel like I have a better chance of making a fool of myself than making myself known. Also, I'd have to play on stick, which I'm not very good at, although good enough to play on excellent adventures. I feel like I've got the raw skill to do it, but I don't know. I've never even like met my cross. I've like talked to him twice in my life. And both of them were super brief. Like I get along with people, but you know. I'd probably be real fucking apprehensive if I was there, I'd probably be real shy. I'd rather do like a third strike thing with Gutex, but like. This is a Shinshoryu Ryu, actually. Oh, he could really lose this round. That super guarantees us a hard knockdown, and then that guaranteed. He still had another super left over. It was a very good idea to use that super there. Plompers. I'm about to go out and get Dime and then f get him food and then come back to my house and play Undertale. Do you want to participate in that or not? Is he our uppercut in this game? That was like too high to even cancel the super, I think. You need a very deep uppercut in order to be able to cancel a parry into super. That was a very strange play. Mark at six, I will. Um I could go I could probably go to Good Texas house again. If I ask nicely and arrange the day with him. I don't know, he'd have to be cool with it, and I don't know if he'd be cool with it. Last time I went over, like, his girlfriend was there, and it was like, it's not like it was awkward, but it was just like, 
other times he's refused me to come over because his girlfriend was there and I just don't understand. My best guess is that fucking he felt the need to offer some excuse. Well, but really I'd take any excuse or even no excuse. It's like, hey Gutex, you want to play some Street Fighter 3 slash 5? No. It's kind of an awful drive there and there's no parking. Come on, Chan. 